Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, so today we finally got our set of the Moonjob shoes. Uh. Okay, we have a few requests for this. I am, I have already tried the shoes. They are really, really good for the price. Um, today we will be going through the following, uh, which is basically the how to disassemble the shoe for a uh, detachable cable mod. Okay, and uh. We will be going through two processes. Uh, I'm not going to do the full mod here because uh, I'll be doing another video. Uh, f because this is my personal set, I'll be doing that video. Uh, with my actual uh my my personal mod. Okay, so we will be going through MMCX mod and two pin mod. Okay, this is the first time I do two different connectors in a video. Ah, huh? okay. Uh. For the shoes uh, that, that are also available, uh, what is that called? Uh? Uh, there's somewhat also, but I am not able to go through the tutorial with you because this is not done by us. I'll put the sound mod uh, link and all the graphs in the description below. You can contact the, the other guy for it. Okay, so for this particular mod, we will, I mean, for the disassembly process and the mod, we will need a wire cutter. Uh, this is just for prying. Uh, you, you can try to pry it other way. Okay, uh, heat gun is the best option right here because of the paint. If you're gonna use a lighter, you are, I mean, definitely gonna burn off some of the paint. Uh, this is a gold color. I mean, it's a copperish color. If you burn too much, it's going to turn silver. I mean, if you like it, you can do it, but uh, I'll be using a lighter instead of the heat gun. It cannot fit inside the camera view. Okay, basically, uh, as usual, what we do for our mods, we will place them onto a blue tag. Okay, for this case, uh, we will cut off the wires first. I am actually going to reuse the the wires for the mod itself. I'm not going to change any wires on the inside. This is my personal set. Okay, so this old cable. Basically, uh, you can recycle them. Uh, I think I have some videos on how to recycle. What's that called? Uh? Uh, used wires. Okay. Well, we take a look at this. Uh, there are a few things to take note. This port, we sh avoid any heat or flame right here. Direct heat or flame uh, in this port. This one is fine. It's empty behind. Uh, okay. And as I said, the face plate. Uh, try not to use... Uh, flame on it so we are actually using flame on the back of the IEM okay process very simple okay get, get some protection for heat I use a leather strip we always use leather strips okay and then uh, how do we open up this okay basically uh, just heat up the, the edges We do not need a lot of heat. Okay, once the you have some heat, okay, take a look at this part. We'll be slotting uh our tweezer inside. Try not to scratch the the cover. Okay, you are free to pry at the back because the driver is right at the front, so you are free to pry here. Okay, and we can actually assess the inside already. Okay, so we take a look at the inside. It's the standard, I mean, it's the, it's the moon drop custom driver. Okay. If you're going to do change wire or anything, right, you have to remove this to glue spot. Yeah, it's actually glued down. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to show because uh, I'll be doing a dual connector mod. Okay. On to the okay, I've done both sides already. Yeah, so on to the modding process. Let's start with the left side. We will go through the two pin mod first. I'll just show you uh, a bit of the mod. Uh, I mean, uh, what was that called? I'll show you some some things that uh, is quite important. First, okay, I'll just tin the wire here first. Uh. I am actually not going to solder them. But I will show you the process. Let me just guide you through the process. Okay, so we tin up the wires. Basically, you want to solder. Okay, I just show you lah. Okay, we want to solder the 
the connector onto the I mean the wires onto the connector itself. This is the two pin version. Uh, uh in my opinion it's slightly easier. So we have gotten the connector soldered down. Okay. Uh, for the polarity wise, I remember uh, the, I mean the copper color is always the ground. But if you forget, take a look at the driver. There's a red dot here, that indicates the positive side. Okay, positive. On the IEM side, always facing up. So the green wire should be facing up. This is for the left side. The right side will be red color wire facing up. So take note of that. Right now, uh, we will try to. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you the post. I mean the 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 outcome. If you take a look, uh, we are gonna close it. It's not gonna close because uh, there are metal bearings. There are metal clips. I uh, just pull this out and I'll show you. So this is what you expect to see when your shoes are. Have your cable removed. You'll see a hole with some metal shapes. Okay, can you see the hole? Ah. Okay, so they are blockage. This thing cannot. Uh, I mean, the the connector cannot sit at all. But uh, this is a very easy fix, or rather, this is a very easy process. Just take a wire cutter. Okay, I want you to cut in this manner. Okay, can you see? This is the tongue that we are going to cut. Just put my finger below. You can see the tongue. Okay, this one. It look. It looks like a teeth. Uh. We want to cut it in a diagonal way. Uh, we want to have a sharp edge. I'll explain to you why later. Okay, be careful, uh, it may fly into your eye. Okay, uh. see, uh, the teeth become a small, sharp edge. It becomes a small, small, sharp edge. Okay, the reason why we want this to be sharp uh, is because you can place the connector right here. Because it's plastic, you use a force, you can let it bite in. Sort of bite in. And it actually uh, slot very well into the slots on the connector so it doesn't move front and back I mean not really, uh, we are going to still epoxy it later but I'll, I'll just show you the process I'll be substituting epoxy with a uh, blue tag for this process just to show you because I'm going to do another mod same for the top cover look at the teeth here okay, focus uh, we are going to cut a similar shape doesn't have to be the same but similar then uh, you can try an error la. I mean even if you didn't get the, the the teeth right you can still I mean it still will be held down by epoxy okay this one so we are going to close it okay I'm not too sure <laughs> if this if this is going to just work out of the box uh, but uh let me just get a two pin wire. Uh, we can see that it actually bites onto the connector so that it doesn't uh, come out if you have some mishap. Okay, you can see how we can just push it in. And the connector is still inside and we can I think we can pull it out, you see? The connector stays. Uh, if you are going to open up and do some other mod, I suggest that you use hot glue instead of epoxy. Epoxy will be permanent. So uh yeah. I'll be showing the MMCX now. Okay, let's do it on the, the other side. Okay, okay. Le let's just finish this properly. Okay, so instead of uh, epoxy, uh, because we always use epoxy party one to one. Okay, I'll show you in the next video when I'm going to do the full mod. For this version, we just uh, want to go through the motion and show you. Just place it around the connector. Uh, just to seal up the hole okay so when you have sufficient uh, uh what's that called uh, adhesive around ready you just close it up
and then you just wipe off whatever is neat and just pack down wait until it's dry color it black okay you can take a look this is uh, you are trying to fill up the, the gap because there will be gaps here okay so that's all for the two pin side now we are going through the MMCX side it is also the same uh, this time round I'm actually really not going to, to solder them down okay you can choose your connectors uh, there are two types actually there are three types of MMCX that we can use Okay, of course, uh, I think the, the generic MMCX is a better choice right here. Let me see if I can bring them onto the camera. We have all these uh, links for the products in the description, so you can just go and click and go and buy. Yeah, we take about small percentage of the, very small percentage of the sale. Okay, as you can see, uh, The shape is about there, the size is about there. So by right, if you remove all the all the teeth, you can just put this place it in and epoxy it up. You can see uh, the shape and size is all the same. You can just place it in and epoxy the whole thing. So uh that's one way, but you have to remove all the all the teeth on the inside. Another one, this is very simple, you can just put this in. Same thing, uh, just pull this in. This will be another connector. Or you can put a round one in, but that you have to do some Dremel work or some cutting work. It's the same thing, put them in and then uh, use your epoxy to hold it in place. Okay, when applying epoxy, try not to, I mean, not say try, uh, you cannot block the back vent. So take, please take note. Of course, uh, if you want to do MMCX, this will be the neatest. This one will be the neatest. This will be the easiest. The long shank one. This will be the easiest. And this will be... Okay, the one that looks uh, slightly better. Because... Uh, okay, I'm just going to cut and put it in for you to see. I'll just say that uh, because the, 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 the this rounding really complements the, the, the whole shape very well. Something like this, you can take a look. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, a very simple guide on how you can mod your your choose yourself uh, to MMCX or 2PIN. Of course, we provide that service because uh, we understand that not everybody can, 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 can do this on their own. But for DIY hobbyists, uh, for this price, the shoes are really, really good. And definitely, uh, they improve, uh, they scale up with the change of cable and, and mods also. So, I think this is uh, the end of the video. I'll be going through uh, my personal mod that I want to do on the Chu. Uh, so, stay tuned for the next video coming up. I think it will be a few days after this. Okay, uh, I'll see you next time.